everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today we're talking about mean, median, mode, and range of data sets. Um, these four terms, a good thing you're going to find out with these is that the math involved is not that hard. Probably the hardest thing in it is something you, I'm guessing you've already done, odds are you've already done it, but it's keeping the names straight. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a data set i give you two examples. We're going to go through them. We're going to, I'm going to explain what these terms mean, the mean, median, mode, and range, how to find them. We're going to do it. And then I'm, at the end, I'm going to give you my personal little mnemonics that help me remember these names and keep them straight. Okay, so our first set here of data set, and I'm going to do my best to remember to call it data set and data. But I know me, and I know sometimes I use the word terms when I'm talking about it, when you say these are the data within the data set and the datum. I, I admit it, it's a blind spot for me. I have a hard time, so please forgive me if I make that mistake. First one up is the mean. You probably know this by another name, average. It's probably how it was introduced to you earlier as being the average of the numbers. Nothing has changed, even though it has a different name now. You're going to add all the numbers in the data set together, and then you're going to count how many numbers there are and divide that previous sum by the number of numbers that are in the data set. So first let's add these up. And okay, so we got we have 20, 33, 44, 46. All right, so 46 total here. And we are going to divide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers in the data set. 46 divided by seven. And please follow your teacher's lead, whether they want you to um, to put this in terms of decimal or fractions. If this is a decimal, then it would be approximately, actually, 6.57. And if this is a fraction, it would be, let's see, 6 and 4 sevenths. So those are our two possible answers that we could give for this. On to median. Median is going to be the number that is physically smack dab in the middle of that data set. So in a smaller data set like this, where, as we've said just a few seconds ago, there are only seven terms, it may be easy to kind of look and go, hey, this one is right in the middle. Sure enough, there's three numbers on either side. It's right in the middle. Six is my median. That is correct. Six is the median. However, if it's a larger group of numbers or if it's an even group of numbers in the data set, that's a little, a little different. Let's imagine that this data set had like 51 terms in it. How, Sarah, there, I'm saying terms again, 51 datum in it. How would I find the median? What you're going to do is you're going to divide it by two. 51 divided by 2 is 25.5. That 0.5, if you forget that it's an odd even thing, that 0.5 means there would be 25 numbers on the right, 20 uh, on the left, 25 numbers on the right, and then there's that one number in the middle that's getting split in half, so half of it's going either way. So that means there is a number in the middle, and that's going to be the 26th number because there's 25 and then there's that little half and then there's another 25 and there's a little half. Those halves together make our median. That's number 26. So you would count over one, two, three, four, 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 to the 26th number. That would be your median. Now, if it is an even number of terms, a number of datum, <laughs> knew I was going to be doing this. What you're going to do is you're going to look for the two numbers that are in the middle because there isn't a single number that is smack dab in the middle. So here we have six numbers in this data set. I go, oh, three on the left, three on the right. Like there's nothing in the middle. What do I do? You find the two numbers that are on either side of that non-existent middle number and you average them. Six plus seven is 13 divided by two is 6.5. That is my median. The next one on our list is the mode. Mode is, I think, probably the easiest of them. It's just which number shows up the most. I go, ah, there's two sixes. Are there any other numbers that are there more times than that? No, six is the mode. Done. 
And last but not least, the range. The range is what is the difference between the highest and the lowest value in this data set? Five is my lowest number here. 12 is my highest. So to find the difference, I say 12 minus five. My range is seven. Okay, now the one little kind of wrinkle they are going to throw, I'm not gonna say likely because it just, they are going to do this. They're going to put the numbers out of order. So always the first thing you wanna do with these is check to see are the numbers in order. If they aren't, you have to reorder them before you can do any of the mode, median, or range. You can do the mean or average, but the median, mode, and range, they have to be in order. So to reorder them, I always like to cross them out as I go so I don't risk duplicating things. So let's say one, three, five, eight, 10, 15, 24, and 32. And let's just go through these real quickly just to make sure we're all solid that we know what these terms are. First, we have our mean, our average. We're gonna add everything together and then divide by the number of values in this data set. Okay, so I've got say 17, 27, uh, 42, 42 is 24, is uh, 66. And then finally you're up to 98, there we go. A little slower than I normally go. I'm tired. I did not get enough sleep last night. I admit it. <laughs> All right. So we have 98 as our total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight values in our data set. So we need divide to divide 98 by eight to find our mean. That goes in there 12 times with two left over, two eighths, which simplifies to one fourth, or the decimals 12.25. Now, yeah, I'm doing all this in my head just because honestly, when I'm doing these videos, it's faster. I'm not trying to be a little show off. Like, I ain't doing it in my head. Uh, honestly, I'm not. It's just a little faster for me than pausing and typing it into a calculator. But if calculators are allowed in your class, of course, use that. I'm not saying don't use a calculator. You know, the process is the important part. I want you to understand the process that's going on. I assume you already know how to add and divide. You learned that a long time ago, right? Right. So that's not what we're practicing. We're practicing these new processes. Okay, so there is our, our average or our mean. Next up is our median. And we wanna say how many numbers are in here? What's the number that's smack dab in the middle? Well, we said there are eight values here, eight datum. Eight is even. So if I divide eight by two, I get four. There's no little half indicating that there's a number in the middle getting split in two. There is no number in the middle. There are four on the left and four on the right. So my median would be boop, here and it's not there. So I need to average those together. So 10 plus eight is 18 and I divide that by two and I get nine. Nine is my median. And the last one, mode. Mode is the one that appears the most. And if you're going, wait a minute, they all appear only once. That's right, there's no mode. Nothing appears more than once. There is no mode. Okay, now here are my personal little tricks. Your mileage may vary. Um, this may be helpful to you, I hope so. I found with a lot of my uh, tutoring and teaching that usually mean or average is not one that students have a problem remembering. And same with me, I never really had a problem remembering that one because you already kind of had that previous knowledge of it. Median, mode, and range are the ones that trip uh, students up more often, I find, and myself, I freely admit it. So here's what I came up with. First, median. Median sounds like and starts the same as medium. And when you have like on a stove or like your air conditioning unit or something, we have low, medium, and high. Medium is always in the middle. It's the one right in the middle. It's the Goldilocks. It's not too cold, it's not too hot, it's just right. It's median, it's medium, it's right in the middle. Median, medium, middle. So it's a number that's right in the middle. That's for median. For mode, um, I don't know if you've ever heard like ice cream a la mode. Mode is because, it, that's because the French word for fashion is mode. So a la mode is like in style or it's in the fashion. 
It's like mode is, oh, it's fashionable. Everyone's doing it, darling. It's the fashion. It's the mode. It's the one you're going to see everywhere, right? If something is really trendy and really fashionable, you see it everywhere. Everyone's doing it. So this is going to be the number you see the most. Everyone has an eight, darling, this year. It's just, you must have the number eight. It's the mode. And finally, the range. This always makes me think of like old cowboy movies. Like they're out on the range and they're riding for days and days. And, and they start and they just ride and ride and ride across the range. I'm like, wow, how far did you go? I'm like, well, I started here at mile one and I ended up at mile 32. I went 31 miles. That was my range today. That's how far I ranged. So that may or may not help. I hope it does. That's my own my own little silly tricks that I use to help remember those. So that is mean, median, mode, and range. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.